Welcome back, dear traders. Here is a fresh market review of the US markets. Wall Street closed in the green on Thursday for three days in a row. Stocks perked up in a light of upbeat financial reports. Today, a series of corporate reports for the second quarter could ruin fragile optimism. Yesterday, Dow Jones rose 0.51%, the Nasdaq jumped 1.4% and the S&P 500 grew 0.9%, having approached the psychological level of 4,000. However, the major stock indexes are trading mixed in the New York pre-market. The S&P 500 is likely to trade in the Canada between 3,940 and 4,020 points. Upbeat corporate reports by Netflix and Tesla dispelled investors' concerns about a slowdown in the US economy. Tesla shares spiked 10% because its profits and revenue surpassed expectations. American Airlines and the United Airlines also reported on their quarterly results, but these talks suffered because of the downgraded revenue forecasts. All in all, the S&P 500 has rebounded almost 10% from its June low at 3,600 points. Today, the index could change the level of 4,000. The thing is that its price is unlikely to settle above this level ahead of further financial reports and the Fed's policy meeting. The fundamental background is far from optimistic today. A weak report by Snapchat and its suspension of a hiring ruined the hopes for more upbeat corporate reports and revived recession fears. Snap shares stumbled 30% in the pre-market because the company did not present any forecast and stated that soaring inflation and fierce competition dent demand for commercials. The gloomy news affected the whole high-tech sector. Twitter, which is due to submit its report tonight, lost 2.1% before it unveiled its actual quarterly results. Meta, which is due to report next week, fell 5.3%. Apple, Amazon, Tesla and Microsoft traded in the green in the pre-market. Today, investors will digest a series of PMEIs for the US, which are likely to provide more signs that something is wrong about the US economy. Weak PMEIs for June will also add up uh, to the overall pessimism. Hence, investors are unnerved sitting on the sidelines of the Fed's policy meeting next week. The US dollar index rebounded 207 and dipped again. The index seems to be trapped sideways. The trading range for the index is seen between 106.30 and 107.20. The greenback found support today from the dismal European PMEIs. Business activity unexpectedly worsened in Germany. The manufacturing PMI plunged to 49.2 in June from 52.0 a month ago. The same situation is in France. Both the service and the manufacturing sectors are losing momentum. Thus, the two powerful European economies might be slipped into recession. The composite EU PMI fell to 49.4 from 52 points, much lower than the expected decline to 51 points. Besides, leading indicators suggest a weaker economic activity in the coming months. Such business conditions in Europe benefit from the US dollar. However, a lot will depend on the US PMEIs. The USD card pays a trading lower emitted emitter from Looney. The currency pair was a trading below 1.29 for the most part of the day. The intraday carried off for the pair is a seen between 1.2820 and 1.2910. The loony is a certain strength amid a pose in a greenback's rally and the fact that the currency market is cooling down. Moreover, the commodity market, which commonly feeds the loony's strength, is also gaining ground after losing streak.
Investors are monitoring global demand for energy as Joe Biden did not assure Saudi Arabia to ramp up its oil output rates. Today, the state-owned National Oil Com Corporation in Libya announced the reopening of the country's oil fields and ports. Nevertheless, oil prices are wind down by fears of a slowdown in the global economy. Brand crude edged up 0.83% to trade at $104.64 a barrel. WTI gained 0.48% to trade at $96.85 a barrel. Yesterday, Bitcoin tumbled to $22,500 amid the news from Tesla. The company sold 75% of its Bitcoin holdings for cash. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said that his sale of the flagship crypto does not mean a verdict to all cryptocurrencies. In the light of this comment, Bitcoin regained its footing. Today, the token climbed above 23,200, aiming to retest 24,100. If broken, the door will be open to 25,000. Otherwise, Bitcoin could retreat to levels below 23,000. And this is how American markets are trading at the end of the week. Let me remind you that investors are going to evaluate US PMIs tonight. Trade at a profit with the InstaForex and have a nice weekend. See you on Monday.